This is a brief analysis of BioRad Calistad Crithidia luciliae double-stranded DNA indirect immunofluorescence. Now that is a mouthful, so let's break it down. BioRad is simply the company that makes the materials for this assay. Calistad is just a brand, and this Crithidia luciliae is a microorganism that's used in this assay. And we'll see how double-stranded DNA and immunofluorescence come into play very soon. First off, C. luciliae is a flagellate microorganism that's used for this assay due to a unique organelle called a kinetoplast. This kinetoplast essentially is a cluster of double-stranded DNA molecules. The purpose of this experiment is to see if a patient has antibodies against double-stranded DNA. As we know, humans have double-stranded DNA, so if a patient has antibodies against it, they have an autoimmune disorder, known as lupus. So BioRad produces these calistad slides that have C. luciliae already infused onto the slide. So here's our slide, and here's the C. luciliae enlarged for detail. Now the immunologist adds patient sample, which may or may not contain antibodies against double-stranded DNA. Now in this case, I'm demonstrating a positive test, so the patient does have these antibodies. Now these antibodies will bind to the double-stranded DNA of the kinetoplast of the C. luciliae, but there will be unbound antibodies still on the slide also, so we wash the slide to get rid of those. Next we add our reagent, which is just a fluorescent labeled antibody, and this will now bind to the FC fragments of the patient's antibodies. We make sure to wash off any excess reagent, and then we view the slide under a fluorescent microscope. Under the microscope, the fluorescent labels release photons of light which appear green and indicate a positive result. So let's look at the course of a negative result. Notice that the patient sample does not contain antibodies against double-stranded DNA. We put the patient sample on the slide, but there is no binding. Then we wash the slide. Next, we add the reagent, which contains the fluorescent label. Now this no longer has patient antibody to bind to, so no binding occurs. We wash the slide again, which removes all unbound fluorescent label. And now we look under the fluorescent microscope, and we should not see any fluorescence indicating a negative result. 